All right, I'm here with Mickey, a uh, beautiful mandolin player right here. And I just had a couple Thanks, questions, uh, yeah, uh, the, about um, some uh, Music Matters uh, questions. So uh, what Perfect. was your path that led you to music? Um, how old were you and what was your inspiration that brought you there? I can easily answer that one. Um, when my dad remarried, my stepmama was like four years old. Mm -hmm. She played bluegrass banjo, played folk music. Nice. Uh, it would be another answer, question, uh, question answer, how she got into it, because <laughs> it's interesting how she started playing bluegrass, banjo, of all instruments. Uh, but she kind of made my father learn to play, yeah. to play rhythm guitar, mm -hmm. and get into folk music. And then, naturally, the guitar was around in my house. Uh, in addition to them playing bluegrass and having it in my home, summer camp, folk music, sitting around singing songs together in a campfire setting. I, mm -hmm. I grew up around that, Peter, Paul, and Mary, going to see folk music, and that was alive in my house growing up. So much so, man, that I actually at one time thought that bluegrass music was associated with Israeli Jews because my Jewish Israeli family played folk music, but I was so young I hadn't been exposed to any other folk music yeah. except my Israeli family <laughs> who played American folk music. So somehow I actually correlated the two together, which I've come to realize that that doesn't, that's very unusually interesting. Yeah. Nice. Um, next question, how would you help encourage and inspire the next generation to understand the benefits of music? How would I? Yes. Uh, hmm. Interesting you ask that because I have spent my life doing that, yeah. um, teaching youth to play music. Um, I think it's important to jam together and, and, and play um, together as in the folk environment. So I've, I've spent a lot of time teaching kids to play together um, and take them to perform, not even as professional musicians, uh, to show them how you can attach that enjoyment out of playing with friends in, in a hobby situation. Cool. Almost like other kids watch TV or play video games. <laughs> you can play you can play in a band almost like socializing like you're playing video games. In a sense. That's true. Um, and last question, uh, why does music matter to you? What's the whole meaning behind it? Um, it's, that's, that is like the question of life. Today, what I'm thinking right now, I could answer that question in I can ask these. These are all questions that are really deep for me mm -hmm. personally. Um, what is you know? It, it truly is. This is so cheesy, but the universal um, language uh, that would be one answer. That uh, you know, you play American blues, and the Chinese guy who speaks not a word of English hears that same blues sound. And likewise, if we don't hear, if we don't speak a lick of Chinese, and you hear a Chinese instrument, you're hearing exactly what you're hearing. Um, it's truly universal in that sense. Yeah. Um, crosses all ages and all ethnicities, uh, brings people together, yeah. brings people joy and happiness, sometimes sorrow because the song can bring up bad times. It's very magical yeah. in that sense. Music can. That is true. Yeah. I mean, this is true for everybody. Obviously, you're asking a very deep question. <laughs> yeah. Music for me, music for me personally, literally is like air or water. I, I could not imagine my life w without it, um, and most of my social life is based. Um, even if we like LeBron James, our first conversation was about music, and then afterwards we discover what else we like. Oh, that's true, yeah. That's true with most of my social endeavors. It starts with music. Absolutely. All right, well, thank you so much for your time. You're so welcome, Dan. Mm -hmm.